Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET. Today we're going to take a look at the HP Spectre 123. So this is HP's new high-end Windows 8 all-in-one. It has a few interesting features, but overall it's kind of a bust actually. It's a little disappointing. So you can see it's got a nice glass design up here. It's edge to edge, of course. You also have a series of input devices here. There's a keyboard, a mouse, and a touchpad. All are included with the system. What it does not have is a touchscreen. That sets the system apart from pretty much every other high-end Windows 8 all-in-one. Now, the combination of the mouse and touchpad are designed to offset the absent touchscreen, but it really doesn't work as well as you want it to. You're probably best just going with the mouse and keyboard entirely and getting rid of the uh, touchpad, but even then it will feel like a limited Windows 8 experience. Now, the core of this PC is fairly decent. This is the step-up model. It costs about $1,600. It actually makes it pretty expensive, but it does come with a Core i7 CPU, 10 gigs of RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. It also comes with an entry-level NVIDIA GeForce GT 610 graphics chip, but that's really not enough to make this a competent gaming PC, and even newer titles on lower-end settings won't play very well. So one sort of unique feature with this system is that it has a near-field communication receiver, aka NFC. Now, NFC is kind of an early technology, and it doesn't really work as well as we'd like it to. Uh, the idea is that you're supposed to be able to transfer data between, say, a smartphone and the system just by tapping it on the spot. You may have seen that in the Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 commercial. But the problem with this system is that it doesn't recognize input from those other devices. So we've swiped a Samsung Galaxy, we've swiped a Nokia, a uh, Lumia 920, and neither device is recognized by the system. Also, uh, the HP has not done a very good job of sort of introducing you to the NFC tag experience. Uh, there's no documentation or anything really apparent about what those tags are included with the system, and you have to download two apps from HP in order to make them work. Why they're not included in the system out of the box is sort of a mystery. Now you can see that HP has made some effort to make the design of the system stand out a little bit. There's a nice sort of curving back support here on the monitor. And inside that, you actually find the motherboard. You can take the whole back panel off and get to the memory and the hard drive. If you're an enterprising uh, enthusiast, you can maybe even dig a little deeper. But uh, for most people, they appreciate the fact that you can easily swap out memory and hard drive. So that's cool. On the side and the rear of the base unit, you also find the ports for this PC. There's a couple of USB 3 ports, HDMI input, as well as some audio ports. Now, there's no optical drive, which is not uncommon among high-end PCs these days, actually. And of course, you can always add one. Now, the Core i7 chip gives the system some nice performance. But the lack of a touchscreen and the fact that it's monitored is small for its price kind of hurt the system from a value standpoint. HP also includes some features that we're not entirely sure we want, like the NFC receiver as well as the touchpad. So if you're in the market for a higher-end Windows 8 all-in-one, I would probably skip this system. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the HP Spectre 123.